Okay, so she gave me a wood shield script, which adds, you know, it's a static defense. That, and also a wood sword script. Now it's got six more attack power than the axe that I'm using, um, which also is the same as the knife that you're given in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that. And then here's the arrow turret script. Now this makes a wooden arrow turret, as it suggests. And I, in this area right here, I've never had to, to use it. I guess one thing you could do is if you uh, you set them up around the camp and if you get attacked by something, uh, you could try to lead it back to these turrets and hopefully they could deal with you know the animal that's following you. And, and in this area, they're kind of low level. Also, I have a bed and just like in Minecraft, you use the bed to uh, go through time or past time. And at night, I found uh, lots of spiders and they're, they're really big. I haven't had any contact with them actually in fighting them, but I have to assume that if they're at night, they're probably something big. I don't know what they drop. I'm sure they drop some kind of meat and maybe a silk or something like that, and I haven't found a use for, for the silk if, the, if it is a something that happens. But uh, you also, as you can see, you get synthetics like uh, plant fiber, and when you use a, do a campfire or use a torch and you pick it up, it actually gives you uh, charcoal. So I'm not sure what that's used for. There is later, there's a script that the, one of the guys gives you it, It's in to make steel, but in order to do that, it just says you need iron and wood. It doesn't say you need charcoal or anything like that. I'm also going to learn the arrow script here. Um, we also got uh, a bunch of different things, and I, I have to assume that you know, there's recipes for different foods that restore um, more health, and this red bar is your health. As soon as it gets down to about here, uh, you stop running and you start walking. Uh, you can't do any actions like dig or mine or anything like that until you get food into you. And let's see. So you got a flashlight as well. But see, you can only have one thing equipped at a time if I remember correctly. Uh, so what else we got we can do here? So, pickaxe, let's do a wood shield, make one of them, and a wood sword, we'll make one of them. And then we hit the V key, as in Victor, and we can equip uh, these items here. So we got the shield, adds defense, and then we got the sword that adds attack. Uh, not very much, it's slightly better than what you start with. But it's still, you know, it's still something. So I'm going to build the turrets first. Let me just put some, uh, let's just put some dirt in my hotkey here. And we're just going to build a two by two platform. So you get this green box here, and you can drag, you can drag out, uh, or you can go up with holding the shift key, and then Alt, you can delete some stuff without having to actually uh, use a shovel or something. You can also can hit control and drag and you can drag it as far, much as you want so you can actually make a uh, you know a foundation uh, or a flat area for a house which I've you know I've done in another video. So anyway I'm just gonna put down a two by two block and then I'm gonna bring up um, my crafting thing and I'm gonna make an arrow turret. So I'll just make two of those because I have to build two. And then it just pops it in your inventory right here. So let me just go ahead and put one down. There. And then I'm just going to use the dirt again and I'll make another platform. And then I'll put that other one right there. Okay. So that quest is done. I'll go back to her. What are you up to this time? Finish what you told me to do. That should be much safer here. Uh, nothing attacks this area that I found, so it's kind of a waste, but I'll uh, pick those what back up and take them with me where I go. Do you have anything else for me to do? I need some animal fat, and I'll show you how to make a torch. Uh, I think I already got some animal fat when I killed one of the animals. Oh, I don't think I have enough, though. 
just go to the quest, see how much she needs. Side quest. Uh, and that side quest. Sometimes the quests show up in this thing, sometimes they don't. Uh, I don't know why. Alright, so actually I did... Be careful. Alright, so I need more animal fat. Oh, here's the script for the torch. I, I did complete the mission, so I, it can make a torch now. To make a torch, you need... Uh, you need animal fat, and you need wood. So I gotta get five more animal fat, which is gonna suck. Um, but I'm gonna break here and actually make a camp uh, with the bed. And the funny thing about this is if the bed's not on a flat surface, it it bounces. See, it's, it's like a... It's got a pivot in the middle or something, so when I go to jump on the bed and sleep, my character's just going to bounce up and down. <laughs> you see the bed a-rocking? Don't come a-knocking. So, all right, let me just go ahead and sleep, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, of course. It's not happening. Usually, the bed will rock, and the avatar will just jump up and down, up and down. Just go for another hour or so to get a little bit more light. Alright, so now I'm just going to grab the bed. And I did a clip, equip the headlamp. Um, it's very helpful because it gets really dark. Alright, so let's go out and get some animal fat. I'm going to go down to the water because I can probably trap those things down there. <coughs> Excuse me. scratching my beard. Well, while I look for... Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead. I forgot to equip the sword. Let's see if I can trap an animal down by the water. So let's just run by him real quick. Oh. Try to push him down. Oh, look, has a shark or something. I did not know that. Uh, I did not know that they existed. And it, this blue bar here is actually oxygen, so I'm sure you can go swimming, which I haven't done yet. So I'm just going to gather uh, enough animal fat by killing these animals, just doing it the same way I'm doing it now. And once I get what I need, I'll check back in and continue. Okay, so I got enough animal fat. I needed five, and I have five. So we'll go back to Gertie. How about a Gertie? And we'll get the quest finished. What is it now? Yeah, I finished it. Uh, here, take a campfire script as well. It'll come in handy. Okay. So we'll learn that script. So campfire. Not sure what it does. Other than nothing so far. Unless I just haven't tried it out. And now she's got something Can else. I help you? Anything else for me to do? Yes, I think you figured out a new recipe which we have on this planet. But I need some more materials. Give it a taste run. Can you help me? Yes, I'm sure I can. Need meat, animal fat, and a torch. This makes smoked sausage, which is going to be your staple meal. So let me gather those things, and then uh, I'll come back. I just think it's kind of boring to watch me gather uh, all this stuff. 
it takes a while sometimes. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got the animal fat that I need. I need to make a torch, which uses one animal fat, and then I need animal fat for the recipe as well, and meat, of course. I ended up uh, stealing the kill from one of those uh, aggressive creatures. He had just killed one of those dinosaurs, and I had before he even got to eat it, I scooped in, grabbed it, and then I attacked him and killed him. Um, but he, they're really difficult for me to fight right now. It takes uh, I use like four bandages, uh, two bandages, and he took me down. Um, so I tried not to get into a fight with those things until I get at least a stone sword and shield, which is coming up soon. But um, I go ahead and make now a torch, and then I will make. Oh, I just got to bring her the materials. So go ahead yes. and finish that. Okay, so now I get the script for. I thought I got the script. Oh, there it is right there. Smoked sausage script. So now I can make smoked sausage, which will restore my health. But there's also other items you can eat. There's some nuts uh, that I'll eat to get my red bar back up. And you can't eat the raw meat, so you have to actually prepare it. Alright, so now I'm going to head up to the north. Uh, in this area, there's another camp. which It's not on the map yet, but it will be. It's right around in this area here. So I'll get up to that area. And then I'll bring the doctor back. It's actually a couple minutes away, so I will... Uh, get there and then start again with the commentary so see you in a bit and here we are coming up on the other crash site this is where the doctor is and we're gonna get a few more quests from him and we're actually gonna bring him down to Gertie and then it's an escort mission which are painfully slow oh it's good to see you alive what the five hells happened I heard a loud bang and down we went. Luckily for me, I was seated right next to a lifeboat. <laughs> Probably pushed some people out of the way to get into it, too. Uh, what? Real hot. Damn. Hold on, let me get my things and then we can go. Guard me against the animals on the way, though. I'm only a doctor. Yeah, you're a little bitch is what you are. But anyway, so I'm going to escort him down. Now, I'm going to escort the doctor back down to the crash site, which is down here. And now that I have that um, on the map, I can fast travel between these two. And to fast travel, you just click on it, and it actually takes meat to do. I'm not going to do that now, because it'll end the escort mission with me getting the doctor down there. But uh, it's helpful that you don't have to run around through you know, all this land to get to um, where you're going. And the other crash site, I believe, is right over there. Doctor, slow as shit. The other thing that's kind of an annoyance now, and I'm sure it's one of the things that'll be fixed, the pathfinding for NPCs is just awful. They will <laughs> walk into a tree and just keep walking into a tree until eventually they, you know, slide around if they don't hit it square on. Um, they can push you, but you can't push them. So, I mean, if I stopped uh, on the way up and get in front of these this guy and, and Gertie, uh, they'll actually push me up the hill. As you can see, his animation's kind of jerky, but, um, you know, other than that, th these missions are really painful, because uh, they take forever, there's no shortcut through it, and they end up running into either getting stuck uh, in terrain, or they get, um, they walk right into the middle of the territory of, uh, you know, some animals that'll fight you. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. And while I'm down here, I'm going to take these back. Uh, we don't need them down here. This is pretty much the end of being in this camp right now. So I'll grab those. And we'll bring the doctor down here. Gertie, you sure look like crap. 
What a nice guy. Thanks. It's good to see you too. Hold still and I'll give you something to stabilize you. We'll need to move you to the other camp though, since most of my supplies are there. Plus it looks dangerous here. Do you think you can move? I think so. <clears throat> give me a hand. You're gonna be on guard duty again. Lead us back to the other camp. Roger that. Other than saving a beautiful old man and a young lady in distress, how about three med packs? Uh, nothing like being a mercenary. Crash landed on a planet with only a few survivors, and my main concern is what's in it for me. Not let's help the human race survive on this planet and thrive, but I'm not helping you unless you give me three med packs. You dirty bastard. Makes me feel kind of shameful. Uh, let's see. Let's watch him walk right into that tree. Oh, he missed that one, but he's going to go straight towards that one. Maybe I can kind of try to deflect him or something, but I'm walking backwards and they're just kind of pushing me. It's kind of a straight shot right through that thing. And they'll be stuck there for a minute or two while they work their way around. So I'm going to let them push me up the hill, and we will get to the camp shortly. I just wanted to interject here and show you how the pathfinding is kind of wonky. Since he's going to hit it kind of at the edge, he might be able to just swing right around there, but, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. They hit it sometimes right in this area. Uh, it takes a while for them to make their way around. But we'll make it up to the camp. Actually, there's a, a hitbox on this uh, tree. It's pretty big. That's a pretty big radius, actually. <laughs> like I said, it's an alpha version. I think it's actually pretty, uh, I think it's actually pretty good for an alpha. Um, I think there's a lot in here, and I haven't had any stability issues. You can see, I don't know if you can see that when it is recorded, but in the sky there's some kind of uh, artifact here, and it and it seems to happen uh, in certain spots. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I got you know new graphics drivers, and it's a, a pretty stable rig that I've got. Uh, I got an i5 processor, and I've got a, a Radeon. 7050. So I, I don't think it's a hardware thing. Uh, it could be. Uh, it needs an update on the driver, but it's probably only about uh, three months old. So it might just be uh, some kind of rendering error in the game. But otherwise, the graphics are great. So I, I think uh, I think this is going to be a popular game, especially. Where you can do whatever the hell you want is, you know, a lot of people like to do that. They don't like to be confined or regimented into into doing, you know, you need to do this in order to do this, and you can't do anything else until you do that. Um, this game is a lot offers a lot of freedom. So we're going to be heading to the camp, and we'll be there in a few. I guess they could have helped carry, but uh, no, they don't offer that option. Usually, uh, the the path between here and there is filled with about two or three of those bear-looking uh, enemies, and I usually have to burn these med packs, <laughs> but um, I didn't have to this time, so that was actually pretty good. Now he puts her in this uh, medical capsule and takes a seat because he has nothing better to do, but again, I have nothing better to do. Uh, so where are my med packs? Yeah, yep, so, so I got those. And now I'll just continue the mission. I think Jed went west to a crater, while Sly went north towards some big tree. You might want to check on them since it looks like you have nothing better to do. Yeah, I have nothing better to do. If you'll bring them both back, I'll teach you how to make a med pack. Sweet. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Two locations on the map. Don't die out there and hurry back. Oddly enough, I 
every time I've done, uh, every time I've talked to him, he only marks this one, which is a meteorite crater. The other tree that he's talking about is up here. It's a freaking hike. Uh, so I go here first. I get copper and I get iron, which I can make. Uh, he has the scripts for bronze pickaxe and shovel and axe, which brings uh, it's, it's really helpful. But um, this guy here has the stone stuff, so I'll end up getting it from him. Because it's just, I don't feel like buying scripts. Uh, I will buy the gun script and the bullet script because those are really handy. But other than that, I, um, I'll just kind of follow what the uh, mission says. So I'm going to head over to that crater. And I'm going to go to the top of the mountain. And maybe we can see it from there. I'm not sure if the visibility will allow it. Um, I'm not sure what the render distance is. So we'll get to the top of the hill. And we'll point in the direction of that... Um, meteorite. I've noticed that a lot of the mission sites uh, look the same. Alright, so he has an animal. Uh, I'm going to see if I can kill him. The, you'll notice that some of the some of the animals are different sizes and at first they, um, they all took the same amount of uh, hit points to defeat and they all did the same damage but now uh, it's based on size so the so the smaller animals of the species are easier to kill and they don't uh, hit you as hard but the larger ones are um, are harder so it, you know that's cool that uh, they scale it based on um, based on their size it gives it a little bit more realistic uh, appeal so the crater is actually, I believe it's that right there. So we're going to go down to that area, and then we'll start again. All right, so we're coming up on the crater, and this is Chen. He's the next um, NPC in the mission series. And he's going to explain about the crater. I was doing some spectrometer readings, and it's full to the brim with iron and bronze. I think we could use them to build up some defense weapons around the camp. Think you can help me? Gather up 30 units of bronze and 20 units of iron, and I'll teach you how to build a bronze cannon. What do you think? I'm up for cannons. So, uh, he actually, is there another one he has? Yeah, so there's something else he has too. And then he'll, he'll want you to build a catapult as well. Be careful out there. Um, he has some good items available. He has uh, some swords, which are, you know, great he's also got a handgun and he's got the bronze tool scripts and bronze shield bronze sword but you have iron in here so that's even better and also has some armor and a single handgun part which is like the, the hilt so you can use it in the custom tool builder which is I, I think it's I don't know how to use it, I, I guess. is uh, I took the tutorial, and I haven't found that it is uh, very intuitive. So uh, I'm probably going to end up buying the uh, bronze pickaxe grip, cause it, well, I'll probably buy, it, buy all three, because it really helps you uh, bring more material in per hit. So I gotta, um, I'm got to i going to go ahead and buy these, because I, have, I haven't spent any... Um, meat, so I have 150, so 20, uh, buy that, buy that, and buy that, I'll end up getting some other things from him as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this, I gotta get some copper, uh, he says bronze, but uh, as far as I know, bronze in, is made of tin and copper not just uh, out of the ground. Uh, I don't know if a meteorite has anything to do with that, but uh, you'll see these little spots here. Uh, these are iron deposits, and then you see the reddish ones, which are obviously copper. So I'm going to hit the copper ones first, and I'm just going to go right in here, and I will use my pickaxe, and I will start to mine. And as you can see, the wood... Uh, pickaxe 
it hardly affects the terrain at all. And you'll see when I do the bronze one how much more uh, it actually affects the landscape. In another uh, game I was playing, I had this kind of almost this whole area mined out. I had taken a, a lot of stuff out of here. I had an iron uh, pickaxe and an iron shovel, and uh, they work really well. I might actually have enough to build the. I might have enough to build the pickaxe. Yeah, bronze pickaxe. Oh, I need a little bit more. As you get the more advanced tools too, it's you get. I haven't picked up anything in you know a couple swings, but as you do that, it actually um, takes more material. So you, you, the likelihood of actually getting material when you do this it goes up as well as that's what I've observed so far. Yeah, this is a pain in the ass, but. Do I have 12 copper yet? I do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make the bronze pickaxe. And then I'll show you the difference of what it uh, what it actually does. So let's go to the bronze one. Put that there. <laughs> 